Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is just a big win to Uhuru Megai Kenyatta and his team in Jubilee Party. As the Court of Appeal in Nairobi has rejected a request for interim stay orders sought by rebel Jubilee Party members, led by the former member of parliament, Chirangeni, eh, of course, of course Chirangeni member of parliament, Joshua Kutun, an East African legislature, Assembly Iyala, Kanini Kega, and nominated member of parliament, Sabina Chege. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue, ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this channel because sometimes you watch the video and you forget liking the video. So this is just a reminder as you watch, ensure you like the video. Now, Kenyans, this is whatever is hitting Akina Ch Sabina Chege's team. As Kanini Kega and Joshua Kutun went to court seeking an order to temporarily stop the implementation of a high court ruling that directed the reinstatement of Jeremy Akioni as the Secretary General of Jubilee, David Murade as a chairperson of Jubilee Party, Uhuru Megai Kenyatta as the party leader and other Jubilee Party leaders. On November 30th this year, Judge Janet Mulo dismissed a petition filed before the court that sought the removal of Kioni and Murade as the party secretary general and vice chair person respectively. Now, according to Judge Mulo, ruled that the meeting held by the rebel party, Akina Sabina Chege, Kanini Kega, Kutun and others on February 20th, 2023 was improperly convened and thus violated the Jubilee Party's constitution. So the court held that the resolutions passed during the so said meeting were unconstitutional. Now, this is what Judge Justice, of course, Mudwa said. The majority decision by the political party dispute tribunal is an erroneous finding issued by the commissioners and must be disturbed at this stage. I find that the decision of the PPDT illegally an annuity. In other words, it was null and void. Having found that every process that was undertaken furtherance of an unprocedural meeting, any decision flowing from the meeting is therefore declared null and void. Despite now granting Kioni and Murade the leeway to lead the Jubilee Party, Justice Muloa declined to hold Sabina Chege and Kanini Kega for acting in con contempt of the party principles. In other words, Sabina Chege sees, not, sees to be, of course, the party leader. He should not be the party leader of Jubilee Party. Number two, Kanini Kega should not and must not be the Secretary General of Jubilee Party. So following the ruling, Kanini Kega and Kutun moved to court and filed an appeal that sought to overturn the court decision. In the application, Kutun and Kanini Kega listed Kioni and Murade as respondents. And so, Kanini Kega and uh, Kutun said that the court be pleased to issue a conservatory order maintaining the leadership of Jubilee Party as per Gazette Notice number 9131, volume CXS uh, V number 161, 
on 12th July 29-23 pending the hearing and determination of the intended appeal. And that is what part of the application filed by Kutun and Kega Red. Now, now, however, despite filing the petition as an agent, the appellate court, you just imagine, declined to grant the stay orders and instead set the date for the hearing and determination of the matter for March 7, 2025. In other words, they wanted the conservatory orders. But the appellate court in Nairobi decided there's no conservatory orders. In other words, in the circumstance of this application, the court said that they declined to grant interim orders of any stay pending the delivery on ruling on March 7, 2025. And so the statement of course, you do understand, began 2023, when a section of Jubilee Party rebel MPs, led by Akina Kanina, Kanini Kega and Sabina Chege, staged a revolt as, of course, they sought to act as leaders on behalf of the former president, Huru Mege Kenyatta, of course, Jubilee Party. But remember one thing, as this was happening, it was a mission of William Ruto to take Jubilee Party through Akina Sabina Chege and Kanini Kega. When this demonstration of the Jesus came in, you saw these members of parliament who sought to take the leadership of Jubilee Party from Ohuru Megai Kenyatta's team, Wadingisa Baridi Wakanyamaza, as they thought like it was so dangerous for them to continue the fight. Later, when it comes to case that was filed to court, now the court decided, the high court decided, that Uhuru Kenyatta, as a party leader, Jeremy Kioni, as a secretary general, David Murade, as a vice chair, be reinstated as party leaders. Because the meeting that was held by Akina Kanini Kega 2023 in Nakuru was unconstitutional and it was null and void. And in fact, it was improperly convened. So when you look at how Akina Sabina Chege, they are being kicked out by trying to take over the Jubilee Party, which they sought to say that Uhuru Kenyatta is misleading them, or rather Uhuru Kenyatta is a retired president and he has not anything to do with Jubilee Party. So them in leadership, they must take control of this Jubilee Party. So Uhuru Kenyatta taking back Jubilee Party was a big hit to these individuals who sought to be leaders of Jubilee Party. Remember earlier on, it was a mission of William Ruto to take over Jubilee Party through these close allies of Uhuru Mege Kenyatta, but they fail. But even despite of this court saying that this matter is going to be held March 7th, 2025, I know the party belongs to Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. Those who are trying to take over, these were just tumbocrats. There were no idea at all on how this Jubilee party was going to be run. So I think it, was, it is a big win for Uhuru Kenyatta to have the Jubilee party back and despite of dying horses who are trying to go and file to have conservatory orders, will, which will not work, the court had announced themselves earlier on that the, 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 the meeting that was convened was improperly in con, uh, con, uh, convened and was unconstitutional, null, and void. And this went against the party of Jubilee Party, of course, the Jubilee Party's constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.